Hello, Grade 7 learners! It's really nice to see you! How are you today? I am very glad that you're doing great! Welcome to English class where you can experience fun and excitement in learning. This is Mom Michelle Palaganas. Join me in exploring the world of English. Are you ready for an exciting class? I believe that most of you are ready to gain knowledge today. Just make sure that you are in the most comfortable place while watching and listening attentively. It is a wonderful time to learn new lesson in English. Today, we will learn about multimedia resources. And here are the lesson objectives. Let's begin our lesson with the word of the day. The word of the day is prevent. Part of speech, verb. Prevent means stop or avoid something from happening. I am going to use it in a sentence. We can prevent the spread of coronavirus by wearing face masks, washing your hands, and keeping a safe distance. How about you? How can you prevent the spread of coronavirus? Correct! We can prevent the spread of coronavirus by eating healthy foods and staying at home. Oops! It's time to play! I know that it will be very fun because we will play four picks, one word. You will be shown four photos and a grade, all of which share a word in common. Your goal is to figure out the common word based on word length and letters given as your clue. You can write your answers on a piece of paper, and you will be given 5 seconds for every item. Are you ready? Let's begin in 3, 2, 1. Number 1. Your time is up! What is the answer? The answer is text. Did you get it right? If you got it right, very good! Let's proceed to number 2. Time's up! The answer is graphics. Next is number 3. Oops, your time is up! What do they have in common? Each picture has something to do with sound or music. So the answer is audio. Number 4 Time's up! The answer is animation. Last but not the least, is number 5. Your time is up again. What do you think is the answer? The answer is video. If you got 5 points, well, congratulations! You got a perfect score. I hope that our game gave you an energy to focus and listen to our discussion today. Based from the previous activity, what are the words you remembered? Uh-huh. The words text, graphics, audio, video, and animation. These five words have something to do with our topic today, which is 
multimedia. But what is multimedia? There are different types of multimedia, and under those types have multimedia resources. First is text and graphics. Text is an important component used in many multimedia applications. It is a character that is used to create word, sentences, and paragraphs. It is good at providing basic information. While graphics are defined as visual presentations such as artwork, drawings, and designs. What are the multimedia resources under text and graphics? The first is Slideshow. Are you familiar with Slideshow? It is a presentation used to communicate information through a series of slides. Along with regular text, your slides can contain numerous types of content such as tables, images, drawings, word art, audio, and many more. Next multimedia resource under text and graphics is Prezi. It is a presentation tool that can be used as an alternative traditional slide-making programs such as PowerPoint. Prezi makes use of one large canvas that allows you to pan and zoom to various parts of the canvas and to emphasize the ideas presented there. Infographic is another kind of multimedia resource. It is a visual presentation of information in the form of chart, graph, or other image accompanied by minimal text intended to give information or data. Next is Educational Blog. It is an online journal or informational website intended for educational purposes. Sounds interesting, right? Well, let's move on to the next type of multimedia, which is audio. Audio is simply the sound especially when recorded, transmitted, or reproduced. Podcast is an example of multimedia resource under audio. Podcasting is the practice of using internet to make digital recordings of broadcasts available for downloading to a computer or mobile devices. We proceed to the next types of multimedia. Video and Animation Video is the recording of moving visual images made digitally on videotape, while animation is a method in which figures are manipulated to appear as moving images, like this. Lecture Capture is a kind of multimedia resource under video and animation. It is the process of recording classroom lectures as videos and making them available online for students to review after the class. It is also important to ask permission to your teacher in recording classroom lectures. Next in line is Documentary Video. It is a non-fictional film intended to document reality. It is a video examining an event or person based on facts. You will learn a lot from this. We proceed to Vlog. I believe that you are familiar about this. It is short for Video Blog that records a person's thoughts opinions, and interests, typically for publication on the internet. Who is your favorite vlogger? And lastly is educational websites. These are websites that have games, videos, or topic-related resources 
that act as tools to enhance learning and supplement classroom teaching. Remember that multimedia resources play an important role in giving information, like providing facts about a certain topic, giving instructions on how to cook your favorite dish, making explanations about your report, or even narrating the most significant event that happened in your life. I am hoping that you are still with me, listening and enjoying our class. Oh, it's time to match! For the guided practice, I want you to match the following multimedia resources with the pictures shown. Write the letter that corresponds to your answer. Your timer starts now. Time to check your answers. Number one, the answer is C. Number two is D. Number three is A. Number four is B. And number five is E. If you got perfect score, Congratulations! You did great! For the application part, let's practice what you've got. Identify what multimedia resource is being used in the following situations. Let's check your answers. Number one, Timothy used slides during his report in English class. What multimedia resource is being used in the given situation? The answer is slideshow. Very good. Number two, teacher Beth asked her learners to film about working students. The answer is documentary video. That's great! How about number three? Kiel was not able to attend his class due to fever, so he just watched the video class at home. The answer is lecture capture. And number four. CJ seriously listened to the digital recordings of broadcast about the current issues in the Philippines. The correct answer is podcast. And finally, number five. Pauline enjoyed playing word puzzle game in the internet. What is the answer? The answer is educational website. Well done, students! As to generalize our lesson today, can you give examples of multimedia resources? Mm -hmm. 
Very good! Under text and graphics, we have slideshow, Prezi, infographics, and educational blog. Under audio, we have podcast. Under video and animation, we have lecture capture, documentary videos, vlog, and educational websites. These are examples of multimedia resources. What is the importance of multimedia resources today? That's right! Multimedia resources play an important role in giving information, like providing facts, giving instructions, making explanations, or even narrating an event. Excellent! Let's have test to assess. Let me check if you really understood our lesson today. Choose the most appropriate multimedia resource to use in the given situations. Write the letter of your answer in your activity notebook. Your timer starts now. Let's check your answers. Number one, A, slideshow. Number two, D, Brazi. Number three, C, infographics. Number four is B, blog. How about number five? It's letter C, podcast. Number six, C. Lecture capture. Number seven. The answer is B. Documentary video. Number eight. It's letter A. Vlog. Number nine. The answer is B. Educational website. And number ten. The correct answer is letter A. Slideshow. For your assignment, choose the most appropriate multimedia resource to use in the following instances and briefly explain your answer. These are the following instances. Letter A. Giving information. Provide facts about COVID-19 in your science report. Letter B. Giving instructions. Demonstrate how to cook a certain dish. Letter C. Making explanations. Explain the water cycle in your report. And letter D. Narrating events in personal and factual recounts. Narrate the most significant event that happened in your life in the past year 2020. Write your answers in your activity notebook. And that ends our lesson today. I hope that you really enjoyed and appreciated our lesson about multimedia resources. Once again, this is Mom Michelle Palaganas saying, Believe in yourself and make it to the top. Aim high, grade 7 learners. Bye!